All right, let's go everybody. 646 approaching 647 on a Monday evening, November 20. What is it? Second, 23rd? Uh, we're just days away from a big football game. Perhaps you've heard of uh, Ohio State at uh, U of M. That's going to be massive. My Michigan State Spartans ran into the Buckeye wood chipper just a couple of days ago. We're going to see what happens to Michigan. I think that's going to be a good game. I don't think they're going to get clobbered. We'll see, though, uh, by Saturday afternoon. It's going to be chilly out there, I can tell you that much. And we've got to chilly conditions right now. Readings dropping back to around 30 degrees and uh, upper 20s. It does appear 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock tonight. Mostly clear skies on the whole. This west or northwest wind at 5 to 10 becomes light and just kind of light and variable overnight. A little haze could be seen in the overnight period. I'm not anticipating anything great in scale in terms of fog, but a little bit of haze out there on the horizon deep into the overnight. 41 degrees tomorrow, jump to 47 on Wednesday. That's an interesting day. Wednesday has a similar kind of appearance on the maps to what uh, transpired yesterday. So don't be shocked if that 47 actually turns out to be a 50 in a number of locales. Then we trend colder through Thanksgiving. That 43 may in fact be during the morning. The afternoon shakes out likely in the upper 30s, even mid 30s by very late day into the evening. Some lake effect flurries, snow showers, and then behind that cold front that turns us cooler throughout Thanksgiving. It's going to be chilly for a several day stretch there Friday through the upcoming weekend. But look at this for week two. This, as I called in the previous weather segment, this big red paint bomb showing up over the southwestern United States. These deep red colors become more orangish and then yellowish. And the reason for that is that that these colors are depicting uh, above average temperatures, the anomalies, the departures from average. So lesser above normal, the further away you get from the real warm air. Nonetheless, that becomes expansive into week two. And we'll see how that shakes out. Uh, I would say the net result is uh, there's no big snowstorms, no big lake effect snow events in our future, though there can be these snow showers. I think on Thanksgiving evening going into the overnight early Friday morning that perhaps could collect to a dusting coating inch, maybe very localized two inches of snow. That would be our only shot for it going forward. Mostly clear to partly cloudy here in the hours ahead. Big deep trough over the eastern United States. Troughing equals cool weather and in some cases, many cases, inclement weather ridging out west associated with milder or warmer conditions that slowly tries to uh, translate across the country over the next, uh, say, two weeks to three weeks. So again, as we get into that first week of December, that's still a ways away, does have a warmer hint on the map. So if you like that type of a, a theme to the weather forecast as we get into meteorological winter, which starts on December 1st, I think you're going to be liking what I've got to show you or to talk about in the days ahead. Winds out of the west at 5 to 10. Uh, feels like temperatures or wind chills running in the lower half of the 20s. It definitely is cold outside. I mean, you go outdoors, you want to come right back inside. You don't want to spend too much time out there. And these temperatures are going to be falling off with these fairly clear skies overnight tonight. Here's this uh, graph model. Little patches of clouds between now and the overnight, but uh, really, for the most part, it's mostly clear. You can see those streamlines on the map. They're starting to come out of the southwest tomorrow, and that is indicative of a little bit breezier condition out of the south or southwest, helping to encourage the mercury back into the lower 40s. This the European model picking it up tomorrow night, going into Wednesday. A few more clouds on Wednesday, certainly. I don't really think any precipitation, but that brisk southerly wind and a warmer atmosphere, we could get near 50 degrees. Next system shuttling in a few sprinkles and showers, mainly south of I-96 on Thanksgiving. That would be minor stuff. It's really the lake effect that comes in late day into the evening. Maybe a rain shower mixed with a snow shower initially, and then the snow showers at night into early Friday could deposit a local light accumulation. So we'll watch that. Tones down through Black Friday. I don't think a real big snow event here, folks. Again, maybe a light coating of sorts. Super seven day uh, planner. Do want to uh, show you the uh, temperatures in the uh, long range down into the 30s. Could be a new rain or snow shower on Sunday. But again, keep in mind, no big systems the next seven days. Cool weather, but not brutally cold. And I think there's warmer conditions to come next week.